Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I'm going to teach you what size of solar panel is best for your DIY camper electrical system. Now this video is episode number 22 in a series of videos where I teach you all the basic electrical skills and concepts that you'll need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now last week, we talked about the best wattage of solar panels and why there truly isn't a best one. This week, we're going to talk about the best actual size of solar panel in physical dimensions. And guess what? There isn't a best size for this one either. This video is going to teach you how to draw a blueprint of your camper roof so that you can determine the best solar panel size for your roof to meet your solar array wattage goal that you determined back in your power audit. Now, this process involves getting up on your camper roof with a piece of paper, a pencil, a tape measure, and taking every possible measurement that you can, and then bringing all of that inside to draw it out, out on paper to see which solar panels will work in what spot on your roof. Now, I took measurements on a camper prior to shooting this video, and it's truly just a matter of using a tape measure and writing down measurements. So I'm not going to show that portion on this tutorial because if you can't operate a tape measure, installing a DIY electrical system will be too advanced for your skill set. Now, I'm going to be transcribing the measurements that I took digitally into SketchUp. But this is not a SketchUp tutorial. If you already know how to use SketchUp, fantastic. But if not, that's no problem either. Uh, you should be able to see how to transcribe this, uh, this stuff onto paper as well. So pick whichever tool that you're already comfortable with and roll with it. And lastly, this next part is going to be mostly unedited as I wanted to show you the whole process. It's a bit over 15 minutes long and if at any time you feel like it's going too slow, you can click the cog in the bottom right corner on desktop or the three buttons at the top right on mobile and adjust the playback speed to something faster if you like. All that said, let's get into it. Okay, so I have a brand new uh, SketchUp file set up. Uh, we can go ahead and just click that guy, get rid of him. And then I'm going to draw out the roof of the camper that we took measurements on. Uh, so just drawing out a square or a rectangle here. And this is 28 feet by 100 inches. And just type that and SketchUp will automatically uh, change that for me. Now I want to be having a top down view of this. So I'm gonna come up here to camera and then standard views, top. It's gonna get down and then I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the Z axis here. So we're going to go camera uh, and just go parallel projection. Now do that. So now you have basically what you would see on a piece of paper, uh, which is gonna be the most straightforward way to do this. And the measurements that we took on the camper roof uh, was a air conditioner uh, on the front, an air conditioner in the rear. There was an antenna um, that was like a fold up antenna kind of thing and also a plumbing vent. And so I'm going to draw all those out to what they we actually measured them out to be. And so I'm gonna grab a rectangle here and then actually I'm going to double click this, right click and then make group. That way this doesn't change around. Obviously you don't have to do that if you're on paper, but Makes it handy if you're on SketchUp. So first air conditioner is going to be 40 inches for 40.5 inches by 29 inches. And that is the size of the air conditioner. You can double click that then right click and then make group. And then we're gonna align that to the center. And the rear air conditioner was 60 inches away from the back of the camper. And so we move that 60 inches forward. And now we're going to duplicate this because we had another one at the front of the camper. So bring that to the front and then drag it 60 inches back because it was 60 inches from the back, from the front of the camper as well. Okay, so those are our two air conditioners now. Uh, the other roof obstruction that we had was a fold up um, antenna kind of thing, I guess like a TV antenna. And so we're going to draw that out. We're not going to draw it exactly to scale because we just need to know that like, hey, this one foot by 32 inches section is blocked off. So we're just going to go here. I'm going to say 36 inches by one foot. And it's that big there. So double click, right click, make group. And that was positioned. It was positioned 12 feet from the rear. Oops, 12 feet, not 12 inches. 
and it was positioned one foot off of the deck on or off of the side on this side one foot perfect now the next roof obstruction we had was a um, was a bathroom vent and that was uh, four inches in no, six inches in diameter so say three inches in the radius and that's right there so you can double click and right click make group and that was three feet from the front of the camper and it was eight inches from the side of the camper. So these are all the roof obstructions that we had on the camper. We had rear air conditioner, front air conditioner, antenna, and a vent for the plumbing. So the next thing to do is going to be to put on the paper what all of these, um, what all the dimensions were from the measurements uh, to all of these different spots. And so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up here to uh, tools and hit dimensions. And then we're just gonna be taking dimensions and drawing these out so that we can see what these all look like um, throughout the various spots of the camper roof. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for, you know, good potential places to put solar panels. And so right here is a big open area. Right here is a huge open area, as is right here. And a smaller open area right here, smaller open area right here, and a pretty good size open area right here. Now this spot right here that's kind of obstructed by this uh, you know, this vent, I'm not gonna use it. We're just gonna go around it. Sure, you probably could put a small solar panel right here, but I know we're limited on space on this one. And so we're just going to ignore that one for now, but ultimately it's time to just go through and take some dimensions. So for this spot here, this spot is eight foot four. And actually I want to change the dimensions here. Um, to something different. So we'll go to window, model info, units. I'm gonna put this on engineering. And then I'm gonna drop the precision down to uh, just that right there, because we don't need all those decimal points. No, sorry, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do decimals on that. We're gonna do decimals and then we're gonna so that's uh so we'll have like 0.1 inches. So that's fine for us. Okay. So we've got 100 inches wide on this camper. Um, and let's see here, back to tools and dimensions. Okay, we're good there. Um, and like I said, this you know, these these were taken from the camper. So the overall, the overall dimensions here was 100 inches by 28 feet. This is a 20, 28 foot long camper. But this particular spot we're working on here, um, back on this potential spot for panels is 100 by 60. Um, the next spot is going to be this big long space right here, and that's going to be 35.5 by, we have all the way over to here. Okay. Ah, didn't do the right one. All right, it closed me out of my tool. Okay, from there to, and that's about, being a hassle with me, okay. Be a little less exact, oh, there it is. Now it snapped to the end. Okay, so from there to there. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Okay, so there, from there to there, we got 294.1 inches there. So that is this spot. So we've got this spot taken care of, this long spot taken care of. Let's get the big one in between the air conditioners as well. So that's going to be from there to there. So that's 135. There to up here is going to be 76. Right there. Okay, great. So that's that spot there. Uh, the next spot's going to be this big open area over here. So we're gonna say there to this side here, that's 60 inches. And then we're gonna say from this vent here to the side, that's 
86. So everything in this area is open. And now we'll do, uh, let's do this spot down here. Okay, that's 35 by there. And that's 144. Okay, like that. And then from here to the front, 156. And this is also going to be by 35. And that is all the dimensions that we're going to take. Uh, so we've got this one taken care of. This, let's see, draw some rectangles here. So we've got this spot here. We've got this spot here. We've got basically this spot here in between the uh, air conditioners. And we've got this spot over here. And we've got this spot up here. So we have dimensions for all of those. So now what I'm going to do is I need to pull the, uh, we need to start looking at those actual solar panel sizes and what's available. And I have a chart set up on the website, uh, on explorers.life, um, explorers.life slash best solar panels for a DIY camper van. I'll put a link to that in the video description below. And what I've got going on here is it's just a list of a bunch of different brands and sizes of solar panels. Uh, with their lengths and widths, uh, watts per square foot, open circuit voltage, short circuit current, all that kind of stuff. And the reason this is really, really useful um, for planning out the roof solar array is I can just go through and I can look. So I can say, all right, well, I think I want to put panels on the back here. And we have a space that's 60 inches by 100 inches. So the panels are probably going to go this direction like that. Um, so we just need to look to see what's the best size for those. So we can go um, down the list and we can see which ones are under 60 inches, which is what's the biggest panel that I have on this list that is under 60 inches long. And that's going to be this rich solar 200 watt panel. Uh, and that is 58 um, by 26. And so I think that would be a good choice there. You know, you can really go through and play around with these and spend as much time on it as you truly want to. Uh, but for our cases, we're just gonna go with this one for the sake of not making this video three hours long. And so we've got 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8, 58.7, 26.8
there's a good fit. And I was actually really lucky that got right next to that vent. So that's fine. So we're able to get one, two, three, four, five right there. Um, and then let's see about like right in this area. Let's put one there and then slide it over there. Cool. So that fits there. Um, can we fit any there? Nope. So that interferes with the, uh, with this antenna there. So we'll get rid of that, but I kind of see another opportunity here. So we'll take this panel here and we're going to rotate it like that. And we're going to try to put it right here. Drag that over. Let's put one right here, here, that one. That, okay, cool. So we've got, that will fit. That's pretty nice. Um, we'll take the center of this, line it up with the center of this. And that's good. So that's a good fit there. Um, alternatively, this one could have gone uh, lengthwise right here, but you know, it's just whatever you want at that point. So there's no, no right or wrong way to do a lot of this. Just a lot of just, this is just like playing around with it and seeing what fits where. Um, so right here, we can put um, one right here, slide that to that end, another one there, and we ran out of room there, so that's not going to work. And then looks like this will be the last one that we could fit. So that'd be there, and that'd be about the extent of that. So there we go. Um, that's a lot of panels. That's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14, oops, lost count, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So that's 2,600 watts of solar panels on this 28-foot camper roof, uh, which is a lot of power. Uh, and that's more than most people will need. So, you know, if you don't need this much power, you know, that's fine. And you, if you just need like 600 watts of panels, um, you know, it'd be a good idea to probably just put the, uh, put some panels like maybe right here in this spot or, you know, right here in this back spot, you know, ultimately like at this point, this is just a little bit about being creative with your roof space and what's available and trying to get the right amount of panels to reach your solar goals. And honestly, that's pretty much all there is to it. So like I said, you can get as detailed as you want on that. And if this were a real install that I was actually doing, I would spend a few more hours on this to really dial it in nice and tight. Now, if you're a real SketchUp pro, you can put these onto a 3D rendering of a camper, but that's ultimately unnecessary for the most part. I mean, it's super cool, yes, and I do indeed do that when I'm playing around with this, but the flat lay plan works great for those of you who are super new to SketchUp or who are just doing it on paper. So when I was in the planning phase of the collaboration with Andy Rawls on his Airstream, he sent me the dimensions of his Airstream with the curve of the roof, and I was able to put it into SketchUp so that we could see how the panels would look with the curvature of the roof. Also, it was really nice to be able to see that how even though we used 800 watts of solar on his roof, as that was his solar array wattage goal, we could have mixed solar panel sizes or used dual charge controllers to get a massive 1250 watts of solar up there just by changing the positioning of the panels. So now that we've covered the best, or yet again, the lack thereof size of solar panels in physical dimensions, it's time to take a break from solar panels. At this point, I think I've truly covered as much as I possibly can about designing a solar array, and it's time to move on to another topic I get questions about, and that is the Victron Lynx distribution system. And I'm going to spend a few videos talking about this starting in the next video. Now, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, it'd be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could use it. Hit the like button and leave any questions you've got or new things you learned in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials, and I will see you in the next video.